Loves Games. Hi, my name is James, and this is James Loves Games. And today I'm going to be talking about MP4 and MKV files and remuxing, and what that is, and why you need to be using it in OBS to make the most out of your workflow and make life just easier for you if you edit videos that you record in OBS. So the first thing you want to do is go to your settings here in OBS. Go down to output. And I can't change any of these settings right now because I'm recording in OBS to make this video. But go over to the recording tab. First of all, you want to go to output mode and click advanced because it gives you all these different tabs and it gives you a little bit more options. So make sure you're on advanced. Go down to recording format right here. And you want it to be on MKV. And MKV is a Matroshka file that has a lot of capability in terms of uh, recording. And so I know that most programs are going to want to use an MP4 format with a H.264 encoding. And that's fine. But the problem with recording in an MP4 format is if OBS crashes, you're going to lose any video that you're recording. Whereas if you record in an MKV format, it actually saves the video and encodes it as it's recording it. So that even if OBS crashes, it's going to have saved everything up to that point and you're not going to lose all of that video that you've spent. So if you've been streaming or recording a video that's, you know, an hour, two hours long, if OBS crashes, if you're using an MP4 format, you're going to lose it. But an MKV is going to retain all that stuff up to the crash. And I know what you're thinking, James, I have a great PC. OBS has never crashed on me. Believe me, I thought the same thing, but it could happen to you. Think of the MKV format as a really cheap, easy insurance policy. You don't want to put the time and effort into recording a video just to see it all evaporate because that's incredibly frustrating. And sometimes you miss out on some one-of-a-kind opportunities, especially if you're recording gameplay. So be sure and select that MKV format and hit OK. Now, here's where the problem pops up with MKV format. If you're going to be editing your videos in video editing software, I use Premiere Pro. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to import the video. What I've done is uh, I recorded some footage from an Elden Ring stream that I did uh, a few days ago. And so what I'm going to do is uh, go to Premiere Pro. I'm going to try to import that video. And it's about 47 minutes long. So I have my folder here, Remuxing Samples. And as you can see, it's not in here. I have it here, Elden Ring Sample, in Remuxing Samples. The video file is in there, but Premiere Pro does not recognize MKV files. And so this, this problem vexed me for the longest time. And I, I found all kinds of suggestions online about, uh, you know, video conversion software and all sorts of methods to convert an MKV into an MP4. And the most common one that I saw was Handbrake. And it's this uh, software right here. You can download it for free. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say straight off the bat that I do not recommend you use Handbrake. I'm just showing you the difference between Handbrake and Remuxing and why you want to be Remuxing instead of trying to convert it with Handbrake. So the way Handbrake works is you're just going to open up a file. I've got Elden Ring sample right here. I'm going to open it. I've got a little option here of the format that I want it to be in MP4. I've got it. Let me go ahead and map this to where I want it to record. I've got OBS exports, remuxing sample. So it's, I'm going to save it in the same folder. It's just going to save it as a new file of a different type. And so I'm going to go ahead. And hit, uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit start rec uh, encoding. Now the problem with Handbrake is that it takes so excruciatingly long to convert these files. As you can see here at the bottom, we've got time remaining. It's 23 minutes, but the time remaining keeps going up. And the video, like I said, is 47 minutes, 55 seconds. And what I've found in using Handbrake is that converting the video takes typically at least as long as the video is. So this 47 minute video is going to take at least 47 minutes to encode. 
And if you're a busy person like I am, you don't have time to sit and wait for this thing to convert. Plus, Handbrake has actually crashed on me before while I'm converting a video. And it's very frustrating to have a two hour video you're trying to convert and then the program crashes and you lose it all and have to start over again, especially when you're converting these in a queue overnight. So I've had these heartaches, so you don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Yes, I wish to stop this encode. We're gonna close Handbrake. So instead of using Handbrake, let me go ahead and delete this partially converted video. Instead of using Handbrake, just go back into OBS. So there's a feature in OBS called remuxing. And remuxing, basically what it does is it doesn't necessarily convert the video. It just sort of takes the small portion of information that's required to identify it as an MKV and switches it to an MP4. And I, truth be told, don't know all of the jargon and all of the little intricacies that go into what all that means. I just know what works and what doesn't work as somebody who uses OBS every single day. So what you want to do is just click Remux Recordings. It's going to open up this little window. Click the little three dots. Go to the file that you want. So my MKV file here, Elden Ring Sample, is right here. I'm going to open it. And so I've got it set from the directory it's in to the directory it's going to go to. And typically it's going to go and save it to the exact same folder you're getting it from. And so as you can see here, it's going from the MKV file and the target file is going to be the MP4. And you can actually do multiple files and make a little queue here. But I've only got this one, so that's what we're going to do. So now that I have my directory set, I'm going to click Remux. And... Like I said, this is a 47 minute, 55 second video, and this is how quickly it's going through it. I mean, it's lightning fast compared to Handbrake. And most of the videos that I'm editing or converting or remuxing are way shorter than this. I just wanted to use this as an example of one that's a little bit longer than normal. Then the window pops up. Okay, close that. I'll go back to Premiere Pro. I'll go to File, Import. Remuxing samples, and there it is. My MP4 or my MKV has been converted to an MP4. Now, as you can see from uh, the folder itself, I've got both of them in there the MKV and the MP4. But like I said, Premiere only recognizes the MP4, so only the MP4 is going to show up. But now that it shows up, I can successfully import the file and drop it in. And bada bing, bada boom, it works. It works great. So if you've been having problems with OBS crashing and you've been losing video, switch to the MKV recording format. And if you've been having problems converting your MKV files to something more commonly used in video editing software like an MP4, use that remuxing feature because it's so easy. It's just a few clicks. I'll clear those out. It's just a few clicks. And uh, really, it's going to save you a lot of trouble. I hope this was very helpful for you. Uh, it, these, are, these are lessons that I have learned over years of using the software and struggling and frustration and anger. So I hope that I have helped you avoid some frustration and anger. I'm not an expert by any means on any of this stuff. So if I've made a mistake, uh, I apologize. But this is just what works for me, and I hope it works for you too. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time right here on... Game. Game.